G'day and welcome back to the channel. The biggest question I get asked is, is it reliable? How's it going with the high compression, the boost and all that sort of stuff? So let's give you an update. Oh, this you crazy mother. So the reality of it is, the thing's going really, really good. I've had no reliability issues, and I've said it plenty of times in the comments um, when people are asking, it's all in the tune. We're running six to seven PSI um, on an NA engine with a factory setup, factory turbo setup out of an XR6, and um, it's reliable. It's all in the tune. Yeah, it's got higher compression than a turbo engine, but it's timed accordingly, and the fuel mixture is set accordingly, and its boost is set accordingly. The only real trouble I've had with it, which is unrelated to the turbo, and it's a barra issue, is the coils. So the last maybe four weeks, I've had um, misfire under load. So I've got another set of coils. We'll swap them over now. We'll go for another spin. But um, I think I've done maybe 5,000 Ks in this thing, maybe more. It's my daily driver. And it's awesome, there's no dramas with it at all. And um, don't be scared to do it, but I'll say it again, get a good tuner, it's all in the tune. The guys that are blowing these things up are pushing them too hard as far as boost what they're trying to get out of the thing. So anyway, let's do this. So when you've got a faulty coil, there's nothing that's gonna stand out obvious in a normal situation that the barras have. Like I said, this thing only misfires under load, but it's not every coil. So you could put a scanner on it. You could probably find out what coils are faulty. I don't have a scanner and coils are cheap. So I'm just gonna replace all the coils. The other way uh, you might get a bit of an idea is by taking the plugs out and checking the color of the plugs. If there's plugs that are blacker than others, you'll probably find there the faulty coils as well. So that's another way of doing it. All right, so all the coils are out. And remember I said before, there's generally nothing that you can see. There's a little bit of corrosion there from probably a little bit of condensation, but there's nothing that stands out that you can see normally with your coils. But guess what I found on number six? It's a mess. And the spring that goes on the inside of that, I don't know if you can see, is down in the back there. So that might be most of my trouble but yeah you, you know these ones might be faulty too but you just can't tell so let's investigate this a bit more and find out what's going on down there same deal i'm guessing condensation that's not oil it's um i don't know what it is we'll have a look so let's see if we can pull the spring out there it goes Yeah, that's cactus. I've got my little um, viewer, which is all but useless, but we'll stick it down in there and we'll see what we can see. All right. Okay. I'm gonna have to put this down and get a better look. So it's hard to film and do this at the same time, but it just looks like it's got corrosion down there, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean it out with some air, a bit of WD, and um, I'll pull the plug out and get a better inspection of what's happening down there. Okay. Stick a rag over that. Got nothing going down in there. Look at that. It's 
just like it's like rusty water tastes like salty yuckness but it's definitely water based it's not oil based so why am i getting water in there something coming here when i wash the engine maybe i don't know does that seal off let's have a look so no so it's not completely sealed which is strange hopefully that's all it is a bit of condensation's got into the back there and um scoot it on down there i'll get some wd-40 i'll give it another um i'll give it a squirt and then another blast and then we'll rip the plug out So I've been thinking, um, not long after I put this together, it was, I built this during the bushfires, um, January, just after the bushfires in Australia and New South Wales, we had ridiculous rain and flooding everywhere. And I had to drive this through some flooded roads um, one day and that they were deep, they were really deep. And then maybe about, I don't know, two weeks after that, I started getting noisy front wheel bearings. The water had got into the bearings, dried them up, and I had to replace the front wheel bearings, which wasn't a big deal. They're as, they're as cheap as chips. And I'm wondering whether when, at that time was when I got some extra moisture in there. That water was pretty deep, and there was a lot of water. I was driving a lot of water um, that week. So yeah, maybe that's what happened, but let's pull the plug out and we'll see what's down there. So this plug's been sitting in a pool of water for a while by the looks of it. Mm. So really all I'm going to do right now, clean it up, put my new coils in and take it for a spin. Just worked out what that gap's for. It's for the wires, for the uh, the coils. There you go. All right. So before we chuck all the piping on, I'm just going to fire it up, make sure she's not missing and carrying on, and then we should be sweet. Sounds good, we're not going to know properly until we're under load, so we'll chuck it all back together and take it for a spin. Bam, let's roll. Get a boost, got someone in front of me. He decided to pull out from a giveaway sign without giving way now wants to do about 20 k's under the speed limit which is just awesome i love it when that happens righto oh, i hate it when people do that he's putting along at 50 kilometers an hour pulls out in front of me didn't look anyway boost sounded all right i think cleaning out that cylinder Go time, huh? It's still missing. Why is it missing? Probably should have taken all the plugs out. Yeah, it's still not happy. Alrighty, so I'm in the Valiant, just heading up the rep car, it's a new day. Um, I'm going to get some spark plugs for the Barra and we'll sort it out once and for all. Man, I love this car. It's 
been a candidate for a, um, a barrack conversion for a while, but you really can't beat the sound of a Mopar V8. But now I've got the hard top, you never know, this could be a donor for that as far as the running gear goes. And um, we could go stick in the barrow in this, we'll see what happens. I've got that many projects, but it is an option. I've been selling it. Alright, we've got the plugs. Take two. Righto, this is what I should have done in the first place. Plugs are out. Number two is a bit dark. Number six a bit is a bit dark, which... I reckon that's our troublesome plug there, um, but we'll replace a whole lot. Uh, fingers crossed, we're fixed. So I've gone for a non-iridium racing plug, um, set at seven. So these were recommended by someone that knows, and um, we'll try them, hey? Let's see how we go this time. Righto, before we uh, test it, let me tell you what is coming up. Because if I say it at the end, you might not be there. So for this thing, for the barrel build, I've got myself a locker center for it, like a Detroit style locker for the standard diff. We're gonna chuck that in. Um, I've got a full lowering kit for this, lowering blocks in the back, lowered springs in the front. We'll probably do that next. And the big news is I've been collecting parts to do a new engine. I've got my old BF sedan over there. The engine box is coming out of that. I'm gonna rebuild the motor. I've got F6 rods. I've got some awesome aftermarket pistons for it. I've got a uh, Shift Kits Australia manual conversion for the transmission to give it full pressure. So that'll sort the gearbox issues out, I hope. So we'll see how many kilowatts we can get out of it then. Leaving the manifold stock, intake and exhaust. We'll obviously have to up the injectors, oil pump, uh, head studs, valve springs, and a gasket kit. There, there's things I've got to get still. So yeah, that's coming up. So yeah, anyway, talk too much. Let's test this out. No misses as yet. It's feeling good. I need to find somewhere where I can open it up a bit. Righto, it's go time. Yes, we're back. We're back in business, baby. Oh, that feels good. That feels so good. I've missed that. I think she's happy. Awesome. Well, that's pretty cool. Well, that's it from me. A little bit of an update, a couple of issues, not turbo related. And um, if you want to have a crack at doing this, I recommend having a go. It's all in the tune, like I've said before. So anyway, stay tuned. Be good, your mates. Like, subscribe. Stay tuned for the new stuff that's coming up with this thing. Um, she's going to develop into a bit of a beast. It's all happening. I can assure you of that. So anyway, take it easy, hey? Cheers.